Greetings YouTubers, this is Jared with Omnivore Blade Works. Do y'all like sharp things? We have here the Horribilis versus Horribilis um, survival blowy knife, which has uh, an edge on the back just in case you destroy your primary edge, and it has a zero ground point 40 degrees on each side for uh, maximum strength and sharpness um, for stabbing things and uh, there's a sheath that I made I had a I had a problem with the previous version so I redesigned it the other day and made two for a customer that's getting both of these knives out in Las Vegas very patiently waiting for several years to get um, some of these made out of 3V so the sheath system is ambidextrous, you can reverse everything because it's all bolted together. Uh, stainless steel Chicago screws and then uh, shorter ones that go inside of these upset areas with holes in them so that you can take your mouse clips and put them on the opposite side. The spacing of these is about inch and a half by inch and a half although it's actually 1.47 uh, this distance because mouse clips are have holes that are 1.47 inches apart instead of a half inch. The spacer that goes on the edge side of the knife looks like this and you can see that you have an air gap between the knife edge and the spacer because except for up at the point I don't know if that's going to be clear but the point contacts and then down here by the choil the contacts and the, everything in between is relieved so that you don't have your knife edge resting on this ABS plastic all the time which probably wouldn't make it dull anyway but no sense in touching something if you don't have to retention is accomplished mostly with the thumb strap but there is a little bit of retention um, with just the frictional and pinch force around the grip because there's obviously no um, contour on the uh, body of the sheath so you just have the retention in the handle area and then you've got a pull the dot fastener and a quick release pin hole so you have dual retention and very secure setup and I made this thing a little bigger on the back because I've done a couple of sheaths where this wasn't enough and somebody ran their finger down there and cut themselves so that's it and um, the Horbillus can have various different configurations like this one's got a much heavier point point. it has the false edge eliminated up to the front so that you have a, a baton shelf and a draw knifing handle area and a longer back edge so it's slightly a stronger point not quite as good for stabbing but maybe more utilitarian so in the future we'll probably be making some more of these and I might consider adjusting the profile of the handle, but since I went to the trouble to make this new sheath, I'm going to keep the, the blade profile, which I kind of like. This um, is a great, uh, great versatile knife, and uh, with obviously limited chopping power because of its slender profile, but it will do a lot of jobs really well, especially the lighter version, because it's quick and... Um, and slashy. All right. Um, thanks to my 3D printer and the uh, CNC router for making these nice uh, sheath jigs. And um, it's amazing what you can do when you have the right tools. Thanks for watching.